I um, forgot me. I came hunting up here with Brian one night. We used to hunt this bushage all the time, and we shot a huge stag down there one night. And I carried the velvet antlers all the way back here at night, and my mate carried the deer that was 203 pounds in those days all the way down there to virtually that house over there on his own. And I'll show you in a minute how we used to do it. So this is what we used to do, Charlie, isn't it? Yep. Hang on, for starters, as soon as we shot the moose, we'd sit on it and have a smoke, which wasn't hard. And then we used to do this. Cut that through the joint there. And just very quietly, without cutting your hand, we used to just cut that sinew down there a wee bit. Yeah. Like that. And because it's got two legs, we do that to the other one as well. And we'll just break that joint. And it all had to be done very quickly, otherwise the the, 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 the farmer was usually probably <laughs> was fucking, about 100 metres away on his motorbike. Or saddling his horse. Or saddling his horse. <laughs> yeah. So you had to very quickly throw that through there. Yeah. And, that. and then you turned it over. Your mate did if he was any good. Well, sometimes we did this in the middle of the night. Yeah. Without a torch. <laughs> And then what do we do, Charlie? <laughs> oh, you found a bank. Yeah, well, you had its head off, but you, you leave that on. And you set it up like that. And you lay down there like this. <laughs> and you put your arms through there like that. Pull it up. The farm is coming. Hurry. <laughs> oh. ah. Then the way we used to go. Just to run down the fucking hill. <laughs> and then we fucking run back and run up and... <coughs> Run up the hill, hurry! <laughs> That's how we used to do it. That's right. We carry the cunts for miles. Not good, is it? I'm too old to do it now. Yeah, no. Christ, we've got fucking helicopters. See, these helicopters here have been shooting now for about 50 years. And I started shooting deer culling when I was. The 1958 down south, so that's 50 years ago. And we got paid one pound a tail. That was a token then, you took the tail off, which ruined the skin. And you got one pound, one pound which is two dollars, plus three rounds of ammunition. And you go into a block for three months. What, what we knew what we were shooting, we were supposed to be shooting them because they were eating the forest. I mean, you can go, <laughs> when the deer were real bad, you could see all underneath that bush, it was up that high. See, they can stay on their back legs and eat up to there. So there wasn't any greenery, and you could walk for miles, it was good going, underneath, no ferns, no nothing. Wow. Up on the, up on the snow, snow grass on the top there, it was bare. Yeah, just shale. All the beautiful mountain flowers, they're all eaten. Now you get down to the South Island, they will come back in. Uh-huh. They're feral, aren't they? I mean, at one time there, the, the deer exceeded the population in New Zealand by about three times. Even now, there'd be as many deer as there are people. Mm -hmm. You see, here in, here in New Zealand, we actually had a grazing animal here before the Maoris came, the moa. Uh -huh. And it used to graze, like, you know. And uh, then the, the Maoris and the Moriori's ate it out, like, you know, it went, became extinct. Yeah. So this, our forest, uh, were, were born and bred to be grazed. I mean, it was part of the ecosystem. The right. moas were here, uh -huh. you know, for a million years. Anyway, so now the deer have replaced the moas. 